Good evening. This is Tina. Uh, we're going to do exercise, which is uh, finally we are ready for the functionality, which is a feature add to add product to shopping cart. Okay. So last video, we have our user ready. Okay. And uh, let me do a push here. Okay. And then we are going to do is to make sure here in our browser, when I click, why is my home page? Why this home? Okay. When I click add to cart, this one, it should work, right? But now it doesn't work. Obviously, it won't work. So first, we start with where this feature begins, okay? And let's take a look at... When I click this button... Okay. When I click add to cart button, it is going to make a post to slash add to cart. So we are going to go and find where is this uh, router, okay? So go and uh, let me close off them. It should be inside our shop. See here, router, post, add to cart, and it's going to go to shop controller, add to cart. So we go to shop controller, add to cart. Yeah. Uh, what did I what I did this one okay and uh, which is this part doesn't it work okay and uh, first this also doesn't work find by ID okay so uh, find that by ID want to return an array now okay find by ID we are using gonna return this product okay so this one gonna be wrong this part because this is gonna be wrong because find by ID, which is a method provided by Mongoose. And we are gonna do is I have to resolve then. And we resolve, which is a product if we define it successfully. Okay. And then inside here, we will do add save to the shopping cart, right? And then we will do a catch and error. Uh, you can throw error, okay? Uh, we just cancel the log error, okay? Pretend all of them are happy case, okay? And now, which is this part? This part, uh, previously we have a cart, and now we don't have a cart because our cart is where? Our cart is inside our user. We should using user dot add to cart, okay? So how to do that? First, we get the user. Uh, first, how to how do we get the user? How do we get the user? We using request dot user can get a user right. Then we can call dot add to cart method, and then here we give a product. Okay. And now uh, let's first don't redirect to the cart. We redirect to slash. Okay. So here we have to go to our user model, which is uh, here, the user model and create a method called uh, add to cart. Okay, go to our user. How to do that? You use, since, since here, the add to cart is an instance method because we are using object to call this one, right? So we have to define an instance method. We how to define using uh, let it, using here user schema dot methods dot add to cart. Then here you can define a function, and the function value is a product, and then you do what kind of function to add to cart. This is to define the this is define um uh, instance method. It, this is kind of like uh, or should I say, prototype, you extend on that, okay? And now what we're gonna do is to add this product into our shopping cart, right? And uh, first we get our shopping cart, okay? First we get, how to get? const uh, letter cart, okay? Equals request dot you. Here I don't have a request user oh then we can using this right we can using this I'm confused now 
this dot cart. Okay, this represent the current user. We can using this dot cart to get the shopping cart from database, right? And once we get a shopping cart from database, let's take a look at our structure. This one, right? Item. So we can do is to check if our product we can do two let's do an easy check first check if the item is empty or not empty okay so if this items cart dot items okay is empty which is the length is zero okay then we will just insert right push one document there right and else and else we will do other steps so we will do this one first if currently it's empty what we're gonna do is we will do is cart dot items items dot push we will push an object inside what's a what's the value and uh, for the object first we have to have a product id product is id is what is this product dot underscore id okay and then we have to push the quantity so quantity is what quantity by default is one okay okay after we push this thing which is we set this value here and we have to also change the uh total price we are using cart dot total price which is equals to what equals to uh what thing uh, equals to the product dot price right right like this one this is for the add to cart which is when it's my first time to add item into the shopping cart what we can do is after this we can do a console.log okay console.log which is user in a schema okay okay then we can do is user and to see if it's added to our shopping cart successfully then we do all others then we save okay and now let's take a look at uh this one okay take a look at this one okay go to go to go to oh let oh, here, here running and now i go here and I refresh i click add to cart okay and now let's go here okay user is not uh, defined why is user not defined which part add to cart which is this one oh you know i was using this okay <laughs> forgot Okay, you didn't define it. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Then we refresh and I see this. Okay, add it to cart and go here. Okay, uh, take a look at, take a look at. A cart items as an object and total price is 30, which means we add it to here successfully, right? Now, got it? We add it to here successfully, right? Otherwise, uh, oh, we can do another thing, which is uh, return this dot set. We can do like this at uh, if okay, okay okay then you're gonna change it in our database okay let me fix this part okay uh where it is add to cart right and here and here we have to do a resolve dot uh did i do this one correctly yes yes okay we well, here we do a uh, then and here we will result equals okay and we do a redirect and like this okay and now uh, let's take a look at here let's take a look at and it should serve to our database if I predict it correct okay go back and refresh and uh, oh it won't work I have to add a new product oh it doesn't work because uh, for this case I have to using another user you know why because uh, if I do this one it's want to go to this condition you know it's not want to go to this condition oh, oh it work it work it work it work okay let's click this one okay click this one add to cart okay and now let's go to our database and refresh and then go to the testina 
and see the card did you see here do you see here product id quantity 30 is being saved okay so this case works now right which means when my cart item okay when my shopping cart item is empty then i can it works okay now when the shopping cart is not empty then we'll do okay when not empty how should we do which is uh, we first check if the product exists right we're gonna do yes uh, here const yes e x i is existing equals uh what should i do uh existing yes uh, okay card dot items dot uh find index okay uh index we're gonna compete com compute based on the product id is equals this one right so uh, item this is gonna represent uh object inside object in items okay this is object in items this array uh then we are gonna do is we're gonna return object in items dot product id right if it equal 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 to this product dot id right and if it exists it's gonna return a value which is not uh, minus one so if existing yes equal equal minus one which means cannot find if cannot find we just do exactly like we, we are doing before okay this one but the total price will be plus equal the product price because it's already existing okay oh it doesn't exist which means if i add this product currently in our database i add this product right if i have a new product i click add it's gonna go to this condition okay and uh, all else else which means the product is already existing right and i just need to change the quantity right so here what i'm gonna do is uh, what we're gonna do here what should we do uh we find okay this card uh uh or pro existing product in item in shopping cart okay in cart okay equals cart dot items dot find right uh you can also use index like this way okay using index then it's gonna give us it's gonna give us this product right and what we're gonna do is we just change the quantity okay to b plus one so we're gonna do is this one dot uh dot quantity plus equals one okay okay and then we also needed to change the uh, price because we increase the quantity number we also need to change price how to change using this one total price okay and now okay now now we are done and let's test okay and if we have error we just come back and fix okay so here let's go to our home page home okay and we go to add a product to be uh, angular price is uh, five five image url description qq okay add another one uh node.js okay 10 and the image url and the qq okay so now currently for this user let's go to our database okay refresh uh this user tina okay in our shopping cart we already have a product this one is the react product right so now if i click this uh, add to shopping cart which is i want to add the angular and angular is gonna go to which condition when i go here click this one add to cart for the angular it will not go to this statement right because currently in my items i already has one product then it will go to this else condition okay in this else condition first they will check if it's already exist or not right obviously in our database here 
we don't have angular. This is uh, that uh, React, okay? We don't have angular, so it's existing. This is gonna give us a boolean, uh, give us the value minus one. So it's gonna go inside to this condition. We just push the quantity and uh, the product and also increase the total price, okay? Let's see if it works, okay? So we go and click the add to cart here. Okay, and we go to our database, refresh. Okay, go to Tina. Oh, works, see? The item, see here, total price changed. Uh, the the node, the React, React price is 30 plus 55, so it's 85. So here, see, change to be 85 item. It has two items, see here? One is, uh, uh, react the other one is angular so now if i click this other two card the total price gonna be 95 right 95 okay let's refresh go cart 95 okay items quantity one quantity one quantity one okay and now if i click the react which means when I click React, we already have a copy of React in our database, right? So which means it won't go to this condition because our um, uh, cart is not empty, and it won't go to this condition. Uh, it won't go to this condition because the React that book is already inside our shopping cart. So it will go to this condition, which is change the quantity to plus and also change the price. So if everything correct, when I add this one, the quantity for the object one, React, gonna be two. And the price gonna be 95 plus 30 is 1025, right? Click this one and go to our database, refresh, go to cart. Correct, see here, total price 125. And now, oh, some now something is wrong here. Quantity is one, right? Oh, oh, something is wrong, okay? So here, this one should be the same, same product. This one should go to, should inc increase here, right? So which means uh, uh, it didn't go to this condition. See here, it didn't go to this condition. So we have to debug why it doesn't work. I was expecting everything is working, you know. I normally I find a mistake. I make a mistake. Yes, like this one. Let me do. Let me try again. Okay. Okay. See, it seems has error. Cannot read the quantity from undefined. Uh, for better testing, we're using another user for start from scratch, okay? Because that one is kind of like uh, ruined. Okay, let's start from again, okay? Okay, let's stop this one. Okay, stop this one. And uh, we gonna do is we change that to uh, app.js. Oh, I don't know what's going wrong here, okay? I'm using this user, which is, uh, which user? Uh, admin, okay? And now I'm gonna do is go here, Go to our go to our user. Here I will consult the log. What's the value here? Okay. Yes, existing. Yes, existing. Okay. Pla uh, no, no, this one. Is existing. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Now let's 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 do one more time. Okay. So here we will go uh, inside and uh, click uh, add to cart. This one shouldn't fail, okay? Then uh, let's delete this uh, user. This one is too long, okay? Okay, cancel. Let, let, let's drop this one, okay? Up, delete, okay? Ah, we are using this one, right? So refresh the cart and this one is working, okay? So now I add the same product again, okay? I add the same product again, click this one. Go to here. Okay, so oh, he still give is existing still minus one, which means this condition doesn't work. Okay, it means here doesn't work because if it work, then it it will return zero, right? It's not it won't be uh, minus one. 
because uh, minus one means that exists. Okay, so we're gonna do is check why this part is doesn't work. Okay, so we can do some debug here. Okay, which is uh, this part is not working. We have to give a return here, but why doesn't it work? We're using a cart item. Cart item is an array, right? And we can do a find index from this array. And uh, based on what? Based on, so in this array, it's gonna find index this object ID gonna represent this entire thing, right? So here, uh, we have a product ID, which is a retrieved product ID. Let's take a look at here, console.log, which is uh, this one. Okay, and then we do a code here. Okay, and we're using this product.id to see the value. So the problem is happening here. It shouldn't return. Uh, it shouldn't return uh, minus one. It should return the actual index for that. Okay. So let's do one more time for the testing. I think this video is gonna be pretty long because I'm doing the debugging here. Okay. And I cannot find the issue, so I have to do debugging. Okay. Sorry for that. So add the two card again. Go here. Are uh, these two exactly the same? Let me, I probably trim. Let's do a trim, okay. This, the, the, this part seems has a, uh, like, oh, it's not a function. Hey. See here, see here. I'm not sure if this uh, is because of here. But these two values are the same, right? But why it didn't say they are equal? Uh, let me use in this one. Okay, let's use in this one. See if it's true or false, okay. True or false? Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Okay. Let's go and uh, add to cart. I didn't expect this one. This one give us false, and we get the same value, right? Previously we get the same value, but here it still return false to us. What's the problem? I didn't using the strict equal. And it didn't allow us to do the trim. So we can using, uh, let me, how can I turn into new string? Okay. String dot trim. I think we can do like this. Let's take a look at, okay. String dot trim. Let's see if this one works, okay. Fresh card. And here, oh, now it return true. Now it return true. I don't know why, but uh, what I guess is here, when I take a look at, it might have some, uh, like, uh, it might have either because of this object ID or either because uh, some, like, uh, space, okay. I don't know actually. So here I'm gonna do is copy this one and the two here, okay? We convert to be string value, then uh, do a ch check, okay? So now let's see if it works or not. And we still go back, re refactor, add it to cart. Okay, now it is a object items is not defined. Oh, yes, 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 okay. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? So I have to do this way. 
this one remove remove okay this way we remove okay. remove our do is this one existing and here I should do like this way sorry 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 here right here okay okay and then I can comment to this one okay and now let's take a look at okay uh, do one more time okay refresh okay add it to cart okay same success okay so now let's take a look at it. now see existing is zero right and we go back to our database to check if the value is correct okay go here and go to cart and the price is correct and array but it's still still add a two item now i'm doing this one right greater than zero it should go to this one existing is zero i'm greater than zero oh 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 oh, oh, oh i did something wrong i did something wrong should it be minus one okay it should be minus one then um minus one is a push which means that exists a push and uh, if it's not this value it's zero it's gonna go inside of this one okay sorry 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 now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change to using another user delete okay gonna change to using another user using this one uh, sorry for this mistake okay I'm gonna go change another user we are glad we have so many users now okay so this one okay now let's do one more time I think this one gonna work I still don't know why 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 this part has to does this part doesn't match this part okay okay this one minus one yes 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 okay good now let's go to our browser and we since we are new user so first time i click it should work okay and in our user the last one you will see it's been added successfully has a zero and if i click again it should not change right just change the quantity okay refresh cart try price okay now you're correct okay so quantity become two okay if i add again you should change the quantity add again and go to the oh sorry go to the database and here i refresh and here we go and go and go here quantity three and total price changes now let me add another product this one okay add another one and here let's go to the database and refresh and go to the cart and the total price changed and here we have two objects here one is the first one react the other one is angular so if i add another one okay this should still work okay go here and uh, now i go total price okay three quantity one quantity one quantity three if okay so now it works right and if i add this one again okay it should work okay refresh go to cart item this one should be two this one should be uh, this one's three this one two and this one is one okay now our other two shopping cart works and it's also associated with a particular user right and the the problem for this piece of code is uh, they, it has some duplicated code like this one this part this part they are exactly the same okay and this part this part actually this part also exactly the same so in my next video i'm gonna do some refactoring on this piece of code okay thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye